You ever wonder what it's like to be perfect? To take something broken and make it whole again? I've been stitching my whole story one thread at a time, pulling together what others have thrown away. Welcome to the beginning of my vision, Mr. Stitch's world, where perfection is never found, only made. You ever wonder what it's like to be perfect? I've been working on it for years. It's funny though. You start with just a little tear, a small snip here, a stitch there, and before you know it, you're making masterpieces. Look at this one. <laughs> they were so beautiful once. But they didn't appreciate it. No, they never do. So I helped them fix them up real good. I stitched their flaws right up. Oh, don't give me that look. Everyone wants to be perfect. Eventually, you see, everyone's broken in some way. But me, I can fix it. Piece by piece. <laughs> Thread by thread, I pull them apart, bit by bit, until there's nothing left but perfection. It's the art of becoming whole again. And when I'm done, it's beautiful. You'll be beautiful. You'll finally understand. Perfection! You won't even recognize yourself! But don't worry! I will! You'll be a part of something much bigger! Now, 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 hold still! This won't hurt a bit! Perfection doesn't come easy. It requires rules. Guidelines to shape the chaos. These are my rules. Eight steps to turn scraps into something perfect. It's not about what's missing. It's about what you can add. to perfection. Rules that must be followed. Even in a world stitched together by broken things. These rules aren't just for my creations. They're for me, for those who dare to create, and for those who seek to change what was never meant to be perfect. Let me share them with you. The rules that guide every needle, every thread, and every choice I make. Rule number one. Imperfection is the starting point of perfection. Every masterpiece starts with the flaw. It's in the broken pieces that true beauty is born. Rule number two. Pain is the price of progress. Pain isn't just part of the process. It is the process. True change comes through struggle. Each stitch sewn through sacrifice. Rule number three. True beauty is in the fractures. Smooth surfaces are empty. The real beauty is in the scars and seams, where something broken became whole again. Rule number four. Perfection is never complete. Perfection is fleeting. Always one stitch away. My creations are never finished. Always evolving. Always waiting for the next adjustment. Rule number five, to break is to rebuild. Destruction is another form of creation. To remake, one must first tear apart and see beyond the ruins. Rule number six, silence is the sound of perfection. True completion is silence. No cries, no struggle, only acceptance of its place. Stitched into place by my hands. 
Rule number seven, the stitch must hold, no matter the cost. Every stitch binds it to me. If one stitch fails, everything falls apart. And rule number eight, perfection is an ever hungry beast. Perfection is never satisfied. It craves more scenes, more pieces, always wanting, and never content. These are the rules that guide my hand. Rules I follow with every stitch I sew. But remember, perfection is a double-edged thread. One slip, one wrong stitch, and everything unravels. So watch carefully and follow the rules of perfection. Every creation needs raw material. Mine come from the scraps left behind. Pieces discarded, deemed worthless. But here, in my scrapyard, everything has value, if you know how to see it. It's where the useless become useful, where broken parts find new life. Ah, welcome to my scrapyard. It might look like a graveyard of broken things, cast aside and forgotten, but not to me. No, I see potential. The world may call them useless, but I know better. Nothing is truly beyond repair. Every piece, twisted, shattered, torn, just needs a bit of fixing. You see, perfection isn't something you start with. It's something you create. And here, in the scrapyard, I take what's been thrown away, what's considered worthless, and I make it better. I give it purpose. Every gear, every limb, every fragment of life has a place. It's just waiting for me to put it where it belongs. Oh, that may seem imperfect to you, but that's where you're wrong. Perfection isn't what you think it is. Perfection isn't neat or clean. It's in the pieces that don't quite fit until I make them. They all whisper to me, begging to be made whole again. And I oblige, piece by piece, stitch by stitch. I can make them perfect, even if they don't know it yet. You'll see. Everything here has a purpose. A new life waiting to be reshaped into something beautiful. And when I'm done, oh, you'll see the perfection in it too. Even if it takes a while to sink in. In a world stitched together with laughter and shadows, Playtime takes on a new meaning. My playhouse isn't just a place for games. It's where broken pieces are given new roles, where imperfections play along in harmony. Everything here has been reimagined, redesigned to reflect my peculiar sense of joy in creation. wonder what it's like to be perfect. Welcome to my world. A place where brokenness isn't something to hide, but to cherish. Here, discarded pieces find their true beauty, woven together with a purpose beyond the limits of perfection. It's not about being flawless. It's about seeing the value in what others see as scraps. transforming it into something extraordinary. Every piece here is a testament to the idea that nothing is beyond saving. It's a dance between what is and what could be. An endless cycle of reimagining, redefining. In this place, flaws don't mar. They reveal there's a beauty in the twisted, a meaning in the unsettling. Each piece, each shape, 
holds a purpose and a story that wouldn't exist if you remained untouched. But remember, stepping into my creation means embracing the unthinkable. There's no going back once you see the world as I do. Once you appreciate the beauty hidden within what's broken. Because here, everything has a place. And perfection is just a thread away from something far more profound. artist has a first, an original piece that holds a special place in their heart. Mary, she was mine, the marionette mother. My first and my greatest failure, torn apart by her own longing for perfection. She became more than I ever intended, a reminder of the delicate line between creation and chaos. It began with fabric, simple, easy to work with, but weak. Fabric tears, frays, and falls apart like everything else. I needed something more, something that could last. That's when I turned to flesh. Flesh was different, alive. It could heal. It could bind, and with each stitch, I brought it closer to perfection. But then an idea struck me. What if I could create a masterpiece, something greater, using flesh itself? So I began, piece by piece, I stitched her together, crafting her from the remnants. She became more than just a creation. She was Mary my masterpiece but it wasn't enough she didn't just need flesh to exist she needed more always more with every stitch every piece I added she created more flesh to make herself complete to become whole now she's complete, or it seems, but she'll never stop craving, she'll always want more, my first creation, my first masterpiece, and perhaps, my greatest failure, I can't wait to tear you apart. <laughs> now, just hold still. When my hands started to get a little tired, I needed a new set to keep the work going. Flesh Taylor, the loyal right hand, meticulous and precise, yet bound to me by more than just a thread. He's the hand that mends when I don't feel like it. But even the most faithful creation has a capacity to evolve, always striving to serve, always perfecting. I've always had full control. Every stitch, every piece of flesh, crafted by my hands alone. Sometimes, a little extra help makes the whole operation flow smoother. Not because I can't do it myself, but because having someone who knows how to hold it all together is something I've come to appreciate. That's why I created them. From the remnants, the pieces with potential, never wasted, only repurposed. His fingers are sharp as needles, perfect for stitching up the bodies that start to fray. Flesh Taylor, that's what I call him, he moves to the factory, mending, patching, gathering, always precise, always resourceful, there's something almost 
beautiful about the way he works. His hands bring the fabric and flesh back together, tighter and stronger than before. Nothing is ever discarded. Every piece, every scrap has its place. I don't truly need him. But with him, everything holds a little better. His stitches, his repairs, they make the bodies last longer. And yet, as I continue to stitch, I can't help but wonder, are the seams holding because of his hands? Or still be because of my... Either way, though, it's perfection. <laughs> perfection! An ideal so elusive, it slips through even the steadiest hands. Yet, in my world, imperfection has its own twisted beauty. Each stitch each piece brings me closer to the ultimate creation. But perfection, it whispers to me, there's always more to be made, and more to be remade. The factory doors never truly close, because here, in the shadows, perfection doesn't just strive, it consoles. <laughs> 